Good evening and welcome to the pastor's study. Pastor Kevin and I were just talking about love, 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 how that applies in our life. I'd like to share with you today, my wife and I have been married for 30 years and Monday night I was thinking about how much I loved her and I got Sea of Love on the iPad and I walk in, it's playing, I look at her and she smiles and we get up and we dance and while I'm holding her thinking of our song that was for our wedding, uh, I was holding her tighter and tighter and thinking how much, how much more I love her today than ever before. And that's really what love is. We have different degrees of love and each time we have it we think that's the most we can have. But love just keeps continually uniting and uh, blessing us together and that's what God has for us in our lives. Also, this today, I was riding a motorcycle for about an hour and a half until my fingers started freezing and I came home. But I was riding through Marble Hill Road, and I saw a house that I hadn't seen for years. And there's a man who died on hospice there while I was seeing him. And he was a real friendly man. He worked in the school system. I forget what he did. But he told me as I brought up Christ and uh, end-of-life issues, things like that, uh, he actually said, I'm going to do something so grand, it will guarantee me to get into heaven. And I said, oh, really, what is that? Uh, because a lot of people think that, but seldom will they ever tell a pastor that. And he said, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you, but everybody will know. You will know. And everybody that works in the school system says, if anybody deserves heaven, I do. And so I'm going to do something so grand, you'll hear about it. I said, Okay. And so about a month later, he dies, and uh, unbeknownst to me, and so I go and I see his wife, and I said, by the way, what was the grand thing he was going to do that guaranteed him into heaven? And she said, I don't know. He never did anything that I knew of. And I thought, whoa, uh, the only way you get into heaven is not by our righteousness, not by our goodness. The best we do is filthy before God. We get to heaven only through the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ. So keep loving the Lord, let him love you, and show you the salvation of God. Now, I'd like to tell a little story of what happened to Kathy and I Monday. We got conned. We got taken. And having been a police officer, I was kind of embarrassed. But what happened is we wanted a Shih Tzu a puppy. And so we go online and we find a place that just really looks fantastic. It just this, and we checked it and cross referenced and on and on. And when we realized, okay, we found one uh, and we contacted them multiple times online on the telephone. Uh, and we paid our $300 down. We'd pay another $300 when the puppy arrived. And they were going to ship the puppy to Rochester. No expense on our part because they had these tickets. And then they said, uh, after about a day of uh, conversing back and forth with them, uh, they found out that they could even ship it to our home uh, at no expense. And now a, real, a red flag came up about that time. But meanwhile, Kathy's online and she's checking all these things out, what time the dog's going to arrive. They even sent us what uh, they've been feeding the dog so the dog could stay uh, on the same food and uh, how it was trained. They sent us a video of the puppy and we played that over and over and uh, they already had a name for it, but we renamed it and we we're going to name it Bo uh, Bogey uh, after Humphrey Bogart. And he looked like a little bogey and he just was so cute. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, Kathy started, uh, you know, red flags started coming up because so much was going to be given to us free. Then Kathy finds out online that this uh, whole thing is a sham. The whole thing is a sham. And when I found out, I was disappointed. We both were disappointed because, you know, Bogey, we almost, we already knew where Bogey was going to live. And, and uh, but what was interesting is I thought about it. I was disappointed, but I wasn't angry. Now that got my attention because normally I would be angry at something like that. But what came to me was really, I mean really, all that time and energy online and, 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 and putting all the uh, videos online, all that energy for $300, really? And instead of being angry, I thought about the person and I thought, what if they would put all that work into something good so they could feel good about themselves and really be accomplished. But then Luke chapter 6, 28 came to me. 
uh, blessed is he that uh, or bless them that curse you pray for them that despitefully use you and that just set me free I thought you know that's a I will pray for them I'll pray for them no problem and matter of fact I as I started thinking about that it interested me that I wasn't angry I was somewhat disappointed we did we did want the little puppy but then the next day afterwards we thought you know, we don't really need another one. We have our Sammy, our little long-haired Shih Tzu, uh, long-haired uh, Chihuahua. And so another dog would be more energy and more. And, and so, you know, we balanced it out and said, this is okay. It, it, it's all right. Then I started thinking about uh, bless them and pray for them that despitefully use you. And I thought, you know what I ought to do? I ought to send the man another $300 and say, you know, if you really need $300 that bad to be that corrupt, to be that disgusting or disappointing to other people, here's $300 more. And I kind of chuckled at that. And then as I thought about it, I thought, then I ought to wait another two weeks uh, and send him another $300 and just say, just thinking about you, blessings. And I thought, now, it's really interesting how easy it is to obey God's Word if we're in the Spirit. Now, <laughs> the Spirit just happened to catch me in the Spirit because normally that's not the way I'd respond. Normally I'd be offended, I'd be angry, I'd be upset, I'd, be, I'd like to teach him, I'll take him to court, I'll, I'll, I'll. But wait a minute, I can go that way, like Sunday's message. I can be blessed by letting God handle it, or I can be destitute by letting me handle it. See, being destitute would be my flesh, and my anger, and my revenge, and my, my, my. But being blessed... I'm free. And as I thought about that, I even had to laugh about it. And I thought, certainly that would amaze him. Certainly it would surprise him for me to send him another $300. And by the way, if my wife's listening, I'm not going to send him another $300. <laughs> uh, but in a couple of weeks, I'd send him another $300. And, and I'd just say, blessings on you. Now, here's a little key, a little insight. I would not say because Jesus said, because the Word of God said, and, and give him a lesson. No, I wouldn't do that. Because, see, that name is holy. That name is reserved for Christians. That name is reserved for those that love Jesus Christ. And I can bless him through Jesus Christ without ever even saying it. Because I don't want it to be, I didn't want to come across preachy. I just thought, there, you know, blessings to you. As I thought about it, I thought how free I am. And this is what came to me, a word of knowledge. That's on you, not me. I'm free. I'll say that again. That's on you, not me. I'm free. Then I thought of a scripture. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. And I'm free. And so Kathy and I learned. I don't know how we're going to ever buy anything online again. Because who do you trust except Amazon Prime? Uh, matter of fact, this company, you know, they wanted to check our references and wouldn't know how. Uh, and she said, uh, oh, you can check my references. Uh, just call Amazon Prime because <laughs> <laughs> there we buy everything. <clears throat> Isn't it interesting how God's word always, always, always works? So we can do it God's way or we can do it our way. We can do it our way and be destitute. Or we can do it God's way and be blessed. We're blessed. We're blessed. So tonight, and by the way, I've already prayed for a little uh, bogey wherever he is. And Kathy says, who knows? He might be 20 years old by now. Well, if bogey's 20 years old or if bogey's only 10 weeks old, like they said, God, bless bogey and bless the people who conned us and bless the people who own bogey or are going to own bogey. And so, again, it works for one reason, love love, love. God is love. So bless you and your family tonight in his holy name.